Today on Beer Scientists, we're going to start the secondary fermentation of our Belgian white beer. We've let our Belgian white beer ferment for seven days. Fermentation has slowed down to the point that we want to move it out of this primary fermentation bucket into a clean five gallon glass carboy. This will allow us to separate the beer from the sediment that was produced during fermentation, giving us a cleaner beer, a clearer beer, to allow the fermentation to finish up in this clear, clean vessel. So we're going to go ahead and take this siphon, stick it in, get a few good pumps on it. There we have it. We're going to let this siphon take about 10-15 minutes, and then we're going to come back and take a look at our beer. Here you can see we've siphoned our Belgian white beer into our five gallon glass carboy. So this is a clean vessel that fermentation can finish up in. We've already capped it with an airlock and a rubber stopper. So we're going to take this Belgian white beer, we're going to put it back into the pantry, let it ferment for another seven days. It's going to be a bit cleaner fermentation, a bit slower since the most of the fermentation has already occurred. This will let it age a little as well. So we're going to check back in seven days, see how it goes, and then we're going to bottle it. This has been the secondary fermentation of our Belgian white beer.